Welcome back, everybody. Ow. This is the Johnny Mare. And I am playing, as you can see, the continuation of Castlevania 1. Ow. We're in the first stage of the first level that is supposedly the pain level. And that is stage 13 of Area 5. And those hunchbacks really want to get to me. So now things are going to get a little bit more difficult. From what I remember about this game, and of course this level has the infamous... <laughs> oh, was I'm almost dead already. And I am dead. Okay, hunchbacks. Ow, oh, go away. Alright, I got an extra life. That's awesome. But uh, this area has the infamous boss of this game, and that is uh, death, I believe. So I have a feeling death will be bringing much death to me. Uh, yeah. So there is no telling how long this is going to take me to actually beat this level. Probably a while. It's probably not going to be a first time run like the previous levels. Well, I have used one continue so far, and that's because... Oh, can I actually get up these stairs? Yes, progress. I only had one life left going into uh, area four, so I had to use a continue there. But uh, now we have a full three, and actually four, I guess, because we do have zero as well, and uh, we used one already, but got an extra one from points. I'd really like some turkey, but apparently there's not any. All right, and now we have red skeletons, which I don't think you can actually kill. I think they keep coming back to life. So all you can do is uh, knock them down. So we'll use our holy water to do that. Holy water is the uber weapon in this game. Although, it's not the most useful, I don't think, for the boss of this level. Is it worth it? Oh man. Come on, make that jump. No. Points. Not worth it. Alright, so that's stage 13. And now I think we get the uh, stupid armored knights, which are very difficult to beat. Ah oh, yes, there they are, the axe throwers. Oh man. And uh, what I learned from a couple of uh, playthroughs of this game that I've watched... Ow. Well, at least I got to stage 14. Is that... The knights, ow, will murder you with uh, axes. But uh, if you have holy water, if you're lucky enough to get to this point with that... And I'm dead again. That you can throw it and they track your movement so they will actually... <sighs> duck. They will run into your holy water if you go backwards. Alright, well I can just run them off the screen apparently. That works too. That makes things a little bit easier. Okay. Can I run you off? What? He's just gonna keep coming back? Ugh. Thought I could get out of there. Apparently I've hit my, uh, my barrier slash wall already. I can't even get past this part. So this is gonna be a long episode, if this is the case. Ow. ho ho. This is working. Not anymore. I'm out of here. Hey! New room. Okay. Really could have used some turkey, but of course there is none. We have this wonderful axe, which is uh, not too useful. And these stupid red skeletons. I got some nice ambiance there in the background. Oh, it's on the other side. That is not helpful to me. Hmm. Duck. Ugh. Alright. 
Well, there's our second continue. Didn't even get through stage 14. So let's start over. Die. That worked. Looks like those uh, little hunchbacks jump right as they get to you, so... That might be a strategy to take them on. Whoa. And also to just throw holy water. Yeah, that works. Ugh. Okay. Let's see if we can hang on to this holy water and uh, continue, because I think that would make things a little bit easier. Stupid points. Useless. So, I do want to give credit. I gave, uh... Jave some credit in my last episode, 84 Jave. I watched his Let's Play, and uh, I've also watched a walkthrough of this game from uh, Vortex the Prime, so his has been helpful too to kind of get me prepared for these different levels. Now, that's why this isn't really a blind Let's Play, because I kind of know what's coming, but like I said, I haven't actually played this game myself, so I'm kind of learning on the fly, the controls, all that good stuff as I play. And obviously these last couple levels are pretty tough, so even if I know kind of what to expect, they're not necessarily going to be super easy. But we're doing significantly better this time. And since we have holy water, hopefully I can uh, use that on these stupid knights. Okay, so well, if I run away, they will run into the fire, and that kills them. I got a double. Awesome. Wow. Okay. That worked pretty well. And I do not want the axe now, so we're gonna let that disappear. Okay. Continuing on. So some people have told me in the comments, you know, to use holy water. I don't know if that's gonna be useful against death or not. I think he uh, flies around above you and throws size at you, so... I think I'm gonna switch out for the uh, boomerang, which is the strategy I've had other people tell me to use. So we'll see if that can work for me. But first we gotta get to death. And uh, I'm pretty excited, because I recently picked up a copy of Konami Classics Collection, I think it's called, or PC. And that is a compilation of Castlevania and Contra games. So it comes with Castlevania 1, 2, and 3, and also Contra and Super Contra. And that is basically, the reason I got it, essentially, is I wanted a way to play the NES version of Contra, which there really is no way to do that. It is not a virtual console. Oh, come on, I threw three of them! <laughs> Still didn't kill him. Um, so really the only way to play it is that way, um, which is a PC game, that collection. So I'm gonna have to figure out kind of how to play it and record it on my PC for eventually when I do it. And uh, the other way to do it would be to actually buy a NES version of it and an NES, but I'm not super excited about doing that because... There's not really a good way to record that with my current recording setup. So that's why I'm going the PC route. Now obviously I could play it on emulator, but I don't do emulators for the most part. I don't really believe in them. And then we go with the boomerang. Uh, why is that skeleton coming after me? Let's see if we can run him off the screen. There we go. So, you'll never see me playing an emulator. If I can't play the game on a retail version, then I'm not gonna play it. And that's just, you know, the way I am. Alright, turkey. Okay, so three lives, full health, and boomerangs, and 59 hearts. Yeah, and now we start the Soldier and Medusa Gauntlet. And ow! <laughs> hmm. Oh man, I want that double. Okay. One soldier down. I think there's another one up here. Oh! Oh dang it! Stupid Medusa heads. 
Ah! Crap. Okay. Let's try this again. I haven't even made it to death yet. <sighs> Which, you know, in and of itself is gonna be a pain because he's gonna take some time to get down his uh, little timing and stuff like that. And I did not mean to throw that boomerang. I need to save my hearts for death. But we got an extra life because uh, we hit 30,000 points. I don't need that turkey. Now I wonder if I can... Oh, really? Great. Ugh. Stupid daggers. But it looks like you might be able to find a spot where you can stand and have the Medusa heads miss you while you're fighting these stupid knights. And I'm dead again. <sighs> Great. Come here, you stupid serpent heads, or whatever the hell you are. I think they're serpents. It's supposed to look like snakes. Although, I don't know of any serpents that can uh, shoot fireballs at you. Look how the uh, balls go right over your head, though. That's nice. I don't think this is quite like Rogue Legacy where you don't have a hitbox for your head. I think uh, Simon can be hurt if something hits him in the head. Go away. Okay. I feel it. I'm gonna get to death this time. Here we go. So now the uh, Medusa head should go over me without hitting me if I give them a chance. Okay. Yeah, I want to pick up a double, and ideally a triple if possible. Okay. Doing a little bit better. And it's so hard in this game, I keep doing it. Like, whenever I see a heart, I think, ooh, life. And that is not the case. That's like the ultimate kind of screw you. Okay. No! Alright, we have a triple, we have a boomerang, and we have eight hearts. And apparently we're just gonna get points here. Give me hearts! Okay, so let's throw some boomerangs. Ah, only one more hit. Oh, cripes. Okay, throw it. Throw it. No! Holy crap, I beat him! What the? Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? Why didn't his sight disappear? Ugh. Oh. oh my god. <sighs> Alright, well... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut ahead to fighting death because I'm guessing you guys don't want to see me go through these levels again over and over. So I'm just going to cut and every time I fight death until I beat him, I'm going to show it. Alright, so we're back at death. I did die previously. <laughs> oh. This is not going well. And I'm dead. Alright, we're back again. I had to use another continue. Okay, throw, throw, throw. Dodge the stupid sides. Ow, you're not dodging, Simon. Okay, triple. Wonderful. Get him. Get him. Yes! Okay, it took, what, three or four times to beat him. Not too bad, although I did have to start over after I died again. I can't believe it killed me before I got the stupid energy ball. But that is 
area number five, stage 15. Next time we'll take on the final area of Castlevania 1. As always, viewers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.